everyone. It's me trying to find a new me. Or my name's Amy. Um, so I haven't made a video in like forever. So many changes, so much going on. Uh, I believe I had told you that I was engaged. Um, but that was I got engaged last August. Um, it's now April um twenty eighth, two thousand twenty one. So we'll be getting married next year on April 9th. So good to say it's a year away. Well, less than a year away now. Um, so life changes. Um, I left my previous employment. Um, things were changing. I most likely wouldn't have had a job until after June anyways. Or if I, and I didn't want to go on a job search in June since I started my internship for my master's program yesterday and um, it would have been a pain to try to look for a job while interning. It was already a pain trying to find a job, explaining that I would have to intern between April and December. Um, but it's set up that I do one 10 hour day at my internship site and then I um, flex the other hours doing stuff from home remotely. I started a new job on March 8th. I'm now a care manager with a behavioral health community partner. Um, I, I think I just said it, I, start March, I started March 8th. So I've been there a couple months, so I've gotten to get the, the role uh, pretty much down pat, the assessments, care plans, that kind of thing. Um, and they were very, very flexible in regards to my internship. So like, I won't be working my regular job on Tuesdays, just Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and get the work done that I would normally do in those five days. I mean, if I have to write a note or something or something like that on Saturday, that's okay. Um, because of the new job, I have like daily meetings at 9 a.m., or I did, so I wasn't able to do my group fitness at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays anymore, so I've changed it to uh, just personal training on Saturdays and trying to get in my workouts during the week been crazy I can't say I've gotten a lot of the strength and stuff workouts in the last couple of weeks but I'm trying to at least be active on Easter uh, my fiance and I we decided to uh, spur the moment um, his birthday is the day before Easter this year so we decided to go up to the mountains um, for a night away on Saturday and then Sunday was Easter and we decided to climb Mount Major um, there was a couple of trails and we happened to take the hardest trail um which is really regular old sneakers and nothing to really help on on like the hiking aspect um so we made it close to the top but there was ice up top i mean it was april still icy and slippery even some of the places we walked there was ice um just had to try to avoid it but it kind of grew more steep um so we weren't able to get to the very top but it was still a good adventure um, I gotta turn um, doing a road trip for work I have to drive to Marblehead Massachusetts to get one of my clients to sign a paper so we're not really meeting people in person and most of it's telephonic but this paper needs to be signed so I'm gonna meet them outside just have them sign it and then get it to the place where it needs to be um so anyways that's kind of a life update new job started my internship um my training program like I said is on Saturdays and now that I'm interning I'm just trying to figure out what I am going to do um trying to do a hike on the weekends um we did the mountain hike on Easter the next weekend we went to a trail and hiked with the kids um, for almost three miles and then the next weekend it snowed so we didn't get a hike in um, like every Saturday I'm doing my training I'm like I said I'm just trying to I'm doing yoga and walking a lot but I'm just trying to get the strength training in it's so hard for me to do virtual workouts um, I kind of like having a trainer there but I just I don't have the money to pay for three days a week. I uh, recently got my hair colored again. I did an eyebrow tinting and threading on Saturday. Um, 
my eyebrows looked super thick for a few days while the henna stained my eyebrows but they're still a little thick but I think they're good they're a little darker than my natural color but I think because my hair is black now with the red that they went for that color so I'm working on self-care nails um, working on self-care, saving for the wedding, um, new job, new internship, a uh, lots of things going on. I've kind of just like maintained my weight. I haven't gone down any. I, it seems to go between the 204 and 208. Um, really trying to hone in on my tracking and diet again. Because I know I can lose some more. I just, and I need to work on strength training. Um... Like I said, I have a trainer. I thought about getting a spin bike. Um, I thought about, you know, do the whole Peloton thing. I used my um, fitness center where I live, spin bike with the Peloton app. I wasn't really into it, so maybe spinning's not for me. Um, I don't know. But I just thought I would update everyone. I am still 205, 208. I don't know. I know that my highest weight ever was over 330 pounds, so I'm still 100 and something, 120 maybe, I don't even know, down. I don't have my information in front of me. I'm, I'm, my lowest adult size has been at 12, I kind of went up 14. I think if COVID hadn't hit, things might have been a little better, I don't know. I'm just working from home all the time until now I'm doing these Tuesdays my internship at least I'm out of the house um, it's my last leg of school and I really I, I really want to get into the best shape before my wedding next April so I'm doing the best I know that sounds crazy and maybe excusing I'm just doing what I can it's a little warmer I'm a little better when it's warmer at least I can get out and hike I really enjoyed that um, recently bought some those hiking stick things so that if we do the mountains again it'll be a little easier I am, I've got some bad balance so that helps me um, I used a stick that we found but I think these walking sticks would be better I am going to look in for some hiking shoes boots whatever and we got some camel well not the camel back brand but like one of those camel back backpacks for hydration to make it easier i printed out a list of 52 with a view it's mountains in new hampshire i live in massachusetts so it's it's doable to get there um we want to do um not sure how much will be done this year but we really want to look into it for next year if nothing else um we're in wedding planning i'm trying to find a travel agent I got referred to a couple but they're not re returning my emails I guess I'm an email type of person more than a phone person <laughs> I don't know um, so anyways that's it I'll update this um, uh, in July I'll be two years from my revision from BSG to RNY still no acid reflux I'm still having difficulties eating like reheated foods um so I need to I don't know I need to have a better like plan it's hard to prep meals when you can't reheat food but like yesterday's lunch I had uh, roast beef and cheese roll-ups with cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes whatever they are and um, cucumbers and a couple of like six triscuits and it worked I had protein for, for breakfast protein shake for breakfast and dinner was a pork chops I threw in the Instapot but they were more drier than I thought they would be so maybe that wouldn't be the way to go next time but in, in spot so I'm, I'm doing kind of well I just I don't know I think my body needs the more strength training. I think I do better when I get strength training. Like again, I was hovering between 204 and 208. I got to 204 with a lot of strength training. I was working out five days a week. Um, my trainers, uh, they had to change their business model because of COVID, but it was like this unlimited plan and they had multiple workouts that I could go to. I love my trainer. I'm, I'm kind of maybe looking
looking for something that might have that during the week and still glue my chaining on Saturdays. Um, after I get my master's degree, I might get a raise, so maybe I'll have a little more um, funding to add another day for my training at night, specifically. I think I should do three days, um, at least, but I don't know. If I could up it to two days, that might be good, too. Um, so that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, this is the video I'm driving, like I said, to go client sign paper, so I guess that's it for now. I'll try to do a more updated video with, you know, the stats and inches and whatever. Um, thank you. Have a great day.